life is we're hot. We're back in the car Whoa. from our little Trader Joe's oh. extravaganza. Masks are off. It's 98 degrees here in Nashville, so currently sweating up a storm. Matching necklaces. Oh yes, we oh. tell them. I mean, Kale's bought us matching best friends Cali girls necklaces. Had I feel to. privileges, mom. Privilege my old self. You know, bestie since first year of college, and her mom has become my own bestie. <laughs> so we had to have friendship necklaces. Now we're off to go make some candles. Yay! I cannot believe I'm going to make my own candle. I'm so excited. There's Perfect like Kels event. A little candle bar here, so we're going to get to make our own fragrance, pick our own candle, like glass jar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll see you inside with our masks on. We have arrived to the candle bar. I'm really excited for this experience. As you know, I'm a huge candle fan. Wow, this is the inside. Look at this. Candle-tastic. And then over here, I'm assuming this is where we're going to end up making the candles. We have limited classes so that we can all social distance. It's a pretty big space, so I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so we made it to the candle bar. We're currently picking out our fragrance. So these are the bottles that we get to pick out of. And this is like the little tins right here that you can choose that is already put together and you pick which one you really like. And then over here on this wall, you can pick exactly which jar you want to put it in. So there's three wicks, wood wick, and a single wick. And then you can repurpose those jars. It's so cool. Which one are you smelling? Verbena and eucalyptus. Actually, yes, Ooh. That, smells, that smells bomb. That is very essential oil yes, yes, S, uh, which she loves. And sea salt that screams my name. Ooh. These are all the different jars here. This is the woodwick jar right here. This is the only one that comes in a woodwick. And then you can take your match and actually flick your match on this. And then it will do the more of the ambiance sound because it is a woodwick, so it will crackle. Yep. And then these are like the three wick jars. This one is a single wick. You can pick any one. It doesn't matter. Like you don't have to pay extra. It comes with the cost. I'm kind of drawn to this one, even though I would like to do a three wick. The one wick is nice, but I do like the throw more of a three wick, but I kind of want to pick a jar that I know I can repurpose. So we're going to look around and I'll let you know which jar I end up choosing. You're drawn to that one, right? I really course, like this, this one course. too. But I like the, the color. It must be only a one wick. Um, yeah, because it three. doesn't have the three yeah. dots. Yeah. But I just love that. It's fun. It's pretty. These are all the different scents here. First level. Come down to the second level. I wonder if I can mix the two. I need to ask. Ladies, I found out you can mix and match the different fragrances. Too so much I, too much for both okay. of us. Okay, just just letting <laughs> you know it's an not option. Know what to do with that? <laughs> oh, the vanilla! You can't go wrong with and vanilla. Yeah.
have to take a cookie pit stop at Crumble Cookies. Uh, lucky Charms, Sugar, and Okay, so we just broke out the cookies that we had picked up. We got one of each flavor so that we can all try them at the same time. Rank them. Rank them up. Rank them up. Rank them up and I'll let you know which ones I like best. <laughs> They're making fun of me because I'm filming. All right, so this is the rankings. All right, so we have, this is the last, the Twix. I'm not having it. <laughs> Lucky Charms. Then we have the peanut butter, nutter butter. That is really good. Chilled sugar cookie. And then the last, I mean, last but certainly not least, is the lemon Poppy seed, yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> this stuff is great. Come to LA, crumble. Hey guys, so I am back in LA. I was in Tennessee for five days, as you saw in the last videos. I honestly was just not the best vlogger. I couldn't bring my vlog camera, which I'm on now, because it's still just like not working right. It wasn't worth the risk to like fully break it just for like the first few days i really just wanted to chill and like not focus on using a camera and then it kind of like spilled into the rest of the trip we really didn't do much because again every state is not really doing much really we just didn't want to test any waters and the only thing that we did that was an activity was this candle making thing and it was super social distance i think there was about like eight people there everyone was at opposite ends of the table the ladies would wash everything down like once you touch them it was very safe and i felt really good about it and we wore our masks and we really just like lounged around we watched tv uh brandy's husband made us some really good dinners so that was fun and we kind of just got in the car most nights and just sang like car karaoke and i just like needed that for my soul it just reminded me of just like simpler times where you don't have any worries in the world you're just in your car blasting the music windows down summer vibes it just it felt really nice but i did make a point to incorporate like all of my candle making because that was like a really big deal to me because as you guys know if you followed me for quite some time i love candles it's like my hobby it's one of my favorite things to do is find good candles and to light them and make my place like super comfy goes we did end up having to leave the candle there for about three hours but we didn't go back to pick it up until she took me to the airport so i do have the candle now and I thought it would be fun to test it out, see how it throws in the room, how the essential oils came out together. So I ended up doing two different bottles. Um, most people only did one, but I was like, I'm a candle connoisseur. Like, let me just like whip up a concoction. Love the scent I came up with. The fragrance notes are redwood and amber and then oak and whiskey. It smells so cozy and warm. Like it's hard to describe, but it's definitely like not super musky, but has like a slight musky note and just like a really nice warmth to it so it's going to be a great fall and winter candle it is like 98 degrees right now i'm going to light this for only as long as i need to because i don't need any excess heat in this apartment my hair is real frizzy mcfrizz right now and i want to give a shout out to southwest because they did phenomenal with everything that was going on and they made me feel super safe the airplanes most like both times weren't at full capacity and they make sure that a seat is open in between each aisle which some other airlines are not requiring that now and it is a policy that you have to wear your mask the flight attendant actually joked and said we only have one thing when we ask about the masks our policy is wear the masks that's all we ask because we don't want any Karens in our midst. It was so funny. I tried to get on videotape, but nah, I was a little too slow to that game. I felt super safe and I sanitized my whole entire aisle. I was like, psh, 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 germs go away. I wiped everything down with my thieves wipe, which are like the hand sanitizer wipes from Young Living. So yeah, I was on top of it. I was not messing around. Anyways, I thought it would be fun to see how my candle performs and kind of end the vlog here. Let's go light this candle up. So here is my beautiful candle. It is a soy candle, which I thought was really nice. And at the bottom, you actually get a sticker and you can write your name and the fragrance notes at the bottom of it. And then I did choose like the three wick, like I said in my other video. I just love the throw of three wick candles. And I did trim the wicks just a little bit just so that it doesn't get super smoky. Let's light this bad boy up. I just got some hair in there. Let's take that out before I light the other one. Oh, the wax is very melty. Oh, you can already smell it. Wow, nice. Ow, burning myself. All right, don't light a candle while you film. I'll let you know how this burns in like an hour.
Okay, so it's almost been an hour and my candle looks pretty pulled. Oh, something in the air fryer is done. Anyway, so this is almost pulled out to the size, which is good. The wicks are like slowly dancing. It's not burning too slow, not burning too fast. So I'm really enjoying the scent. It is good. It's a little light. I'm usually like a super strong throw, but it still has a, a scent like room filler but it's not too much like in your face headache inducing which sometimes I do like but I do think this is really nice and it's gonna be perfect for sitting on top of my little coffee table and watching like a cozy little movie and just having like a nice night and I'm going to repurpose my jar thinking of putting some cotton balls in there or some little q-tips something like that I think it'd be really fun to make this like a girls night because it was pretty simple so I'm hoping maybe I can come up with like a fun girls night and we can make candles let me know if you have any questions questions in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next one.